Uh, I'm glad to be back. Uh, I'm glad everything's starting to return to normal. I mean, still got masks and everything. That's probably going to stay around for a while, but I don't particularly mind that. Um, yes, I think definitely compared to the previous years, it's going to be good. Um, it's quite exciting to come back, but it's a bit nervous, but I think it will be, all be good. Just get the exams done and carry on. Yeah. Full on, yeah. I mean, we, we've, we're aiming to get through all the students that so they'll all be um, tested twice over five days. And so that's almost 2,000 students. That's almost 4,000 tests over five days. Um, always worked in this region, so South Yorkshire, North Nottinghamshire. Can I get you just... We're coming back into a building with 2,000 students, uh, many of whom won't have been vaccinated and it's important that we re-establish the protocols that help us keep protected and safe while we're here. So we're maintaining many of our COVID keeper rules. Uh, that means that students will be in masks on what can be crowded corridors. Blair's use of hands and uh, what were good use of hands. A little bit of trepidation because uh, figures in Rotherham in terms of COVID cases have gone up uh, slightly in, in the last two weeks. I think that figures will probably almost inevitably go up in the next few weeks. The, the interactions, you know, just saying hello to a few people in the morning, you, you miss out on that when you're sat in your dining room. Obviously it's nerve-wracking because you don't know how long you're going to be here for, like whether you're going to be back at home learning from home again. It's, so, it's always something that's in the back of your mind, isn't it, that you're going to be put back into lockdown with the cases so high at the minute. It's always a concern, but I'd like to hope that everything goes back down and we stay. And then you've got a full week to do it, so I take it in on the following Thursday. Um, so it'll be set on go for school, so you, you'll know exactly what you need to be doing and that you need to be doing. And that's going to be a bit of a something that you're going to need. One of the priorities of the school is that we've got to teach like we've never taught before. We've got to make so much use of all the time that we have in the classroom, make sure that we build around the school day. So we're doing extra activities beyond the school day. And we're also looking to make use of the school holidays. The work that we did, that we've done to prepare for those mocks. Okay, so the home learning that I'll be setting prepare because coming up this term, this half term of mocks, and we're doing a second one before half term, which is a little